Thank you. Thank you very much for that kind welcome. An absolute delight to be here today. I feel I should begin by saying good afternoon to my fellow Australians. It's lovely to share today with you this joint initiative. Uh, Venerable monks, thank you for your blessing. I felt peace as you prayed with us. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, the leaders of the various communities who have brought us here together for this remarkable joint initiative, the launch of the Memorandum of Understanding uh, between the Laos, the Cambodian, and uh, the Khmer Krong communities. It is absolute delight uh, and a, a remarkable banner there. Thank you. Uh, Sawate, of course, with his uh, indefatigable energy, has brought us together here today alongside uh, Mrs. Pinkham Similalong. Lovely uh, to meet you here today uh, and many of the special guests, but uh, may I also thank Bantam for his hospitality in having us here. You know, as I think about today that you're making a pledge amongst various communities in southwestern Sydney to work together to promote Australian values, and I'm just bringing up something here, I thought about the Australian Citizenship Pledge. And as Shadow Minister for Immigration and Citizenship, I think about this a fair bit. As a migrant myself who took the pledge some 20 years ago, and I imagine many of you in the room have also had the experience of taking that pledge. And I thought about the fact that you are really committing yourself to the thing that we all commit ourselves to as citizens of this country. And the Citizenship Pledge, which says we pledge our loyalty to Australia and its people, whose democratic beliefs we share, whose rights we, and liberties we respect, and whose laws we obey. And I love that pledge because I think it encapsulates everything about Australian values. You know, so there, are, there are values we have, aren't there, that we understand, a fair go for all, that we are a successful multicultural country where we respect one another, that we uphold the rule of law, that we have freedom of association, we have freedom of religion, we have freedom of speech. But all of that is so neatly captured by that citizenship pledge. And I think in many ways what you're doing here today is not just committing yourselves to work to uphold Australian values. You're really showing Southwestern Sydney and indeed all of Australia what it is to truly live the pledge of citizenship. So thank you for that. Thank you. If I can be very brief and say, as the Shadow Minister for Home Affairs, who I hope to join with my friend Chris to sit around that cabinet table shortly. What two challenges play on my mind, and I hope you will be my partners and help me address them. One is the issue of foreign interference. It is real. You know that. I think that we have a job to do to help the broader Australian community understand what foreign interference is, how it operates, and what we can do to keep ourselves safe. Because it operates on governments, it operates on businesses, it operates on social media, and it operates in the lives of individual people. And it is a challenge we face. And the fact that you're coming together to promote social cohesion and stand up for Australian values, and I hope with your local member, as the Minister for Home Affairs, we will be great partners in this work. The other is the rise of right-wing extremism. A change in our political community, the growth of a racist, movement that seeks to undermine our Australian values, that seeks to break down our democracy, that seeks to tear apart the pledge we make to one another as citizens. This is a challenge that our national security agencies tell us is a growing terrorist threat. And again, 
we only counter that threat by coming together as a community. These threats, they, they tear at the fabric of our society, but they have not torn us apart. Because those values we share, and those values that you are building here today, help keep us safe. So thank you for that. I also want to say I'm incredibly impressed by the reach of the community's political engagement that you have here today. Anne Stanley, the member for Werewa, Anna Lechidavong, the member for Macquarie Fields, Chris Bowen, the soon to be, the member for McMahon and I hope soon to be minister uh, in uh, an Albanese Labour government. It shows the maturity of your advocacy, of your understanding and appreciation for democracy, and your understanding how we make change happen. Because we, sitting there in Canberra, can't do it alone. We have to do as Chris did, that powerful story you told there, Chris, about working with the community here in this hall to make sure people get vaccinated. That's where the real work of democracy happens. Yes, the question time and the debates and the votes are important, but the real work of a democracy happens what we're doing today. And you have shown your commitments to that democracy. So I thank my fellow parliamentarians and friends for being here today. I thank all of you for your passion for, the, for Australia, your passion as Australians. And I look forward to working with you to promote Australian values and social cohesion. Thank you. បងប្អូនមិនតនបាន Subscribe នៅ Channel KK CCTV នេះសូមមេត្តាជួយចុច